It's what we call a global killer. The end of mankind. Doesn't matter where it hits. Nothing would survive, not even bacteria. My God. This is the summer's most successful movie, the disaster thriller Armageddon. Bruce Willis is the star, but stealing a good bit of quality screen time is Billy Bob Thornton. Now, one of the things about Armageddon that you might have a little trouble with at first is believing that Billy Bob Thornton is the head of NASA. Well, the guy is kind of spacey. Billy Bob Thornton, authority figure. Who'd have thought? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, usually I'm, uh, um, I'm the oppressed. <laughs> Uh, in terms of authority, uh, I, uh, I enjoyed doing that. And you did it very well, I might say. Well, thank you very, very much. Very believable, and you do play that Fred Thompson, some oh, yeah. of the other people characters. <laughs> yeah, well, He's I, a good Nashville guy. I know Fred a little bit, so I... I Fred would have had this role yeah, if he hadn't absolutely. been in, in, in the Senate. Exactly. And I may be in the Senate if you had this role. You never what know. What do you know? I mean, you know, <laughs> anything can happen. Uh, do you act for fun, or is it a passion you have to do, or what do you, have you ever figured this out of why you do this job? Uh... It used to be a passion that I, uh, something that I had to do. I, I, I love doing it, and uh, maybe I'm not as angst-ridden. Carl, they say you're a whiz on those pigs and lawnmowers and things. Well, I've tinkered around on them a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, we order up from the Frosty Cream at lunch, usually. We can buy you lunch till you get on your feet a little. I like them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Without Sling Blade, we would probably not be seeing Mr. Thornton so often. This low-budget movie was a smash. Got his Oscar first time out for screenwriting and an Oscar nomination for acting. Winning awards, does that make you feel more less insecure, or is it? what's it do for your psyche? Uh, winning awards uh, can make you second-guess yourself. Hmm. Uh, I think uh, you feel like you got to win another one, you know. Uh, or you haven't done your job. The bar is raised. Yeah, something like that. And uh, I, I really felt that for a while. Um, and um, in the last couple of months, uh, it, it's uh, that started to subside a little bit. I don't feel the pressure to win any more awards. You know, uh, I just want to win, uh, uh, you know, awards in real life mm -hmm. more. You know. I don't think I've seen you here before. No, sir, I don't reckon you have. I don't believe I've ever been in here before. I don't believe this store used to be here. Mm. You have no idea how often, years. when I call my radio station friends or something, they go into Carl's voice. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> Does that happen to you a lot? I mean, that has to be something that might drive you crazy after a while. Uh, oh, I come over and get some biscuits. Actually, it's okay with me. I've, I'm fine with it, and people do do it all the time. Do you ever do it? Do you ever just for fun go into that character? Not really. Um, sometimes on a movie set during a take, I'll do it just to mess with people. But uh, not. I don't uh, go. Around. It's almost sacrilegious for me to do it because he's he's that character. But I mean, exactly. that is such a famous character. It really mm -hmm. is because of the voice. And I think a lot of people can do the voice. Right. And right. so uh, that the impact of that. I want to make sure that let you know that it's not dimmed. Oh, good. Still good. Going on, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go.